Welcome to Nursing Lectures. In this video, we will go through NCLEX MCQ question topic, Client Education. Question 1. Which action demonstrates the nurse's role in client education? A. Administering medications as prescribed. B. Monitoring vital signs regularly. C. Providing information on managing chronic diseases. D. Assisting with personal hygiene activities. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer, C. Providing information on managing chronic diseases. Description, one of the key roles of a nurse in client education is to provide information and guidance on managing chronic diseases, empowering clients to take an active role in their healthcare. Question 2. When developing a teaching plan for a client, what is the first step that the nurse should take? A. Assess the client's learning needs and readiness. B. Gather educational resources. C. Establish learning objectives. D. Evaluate the effectiveness of the teaching. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer, A. Assess the client's learning needs and readiness. Description, the initial step in developing a teaching plan is to assess the client's learning needs, preferences, and readiness to ensure the educational content is tailored to their individual needs. Question 3. Which teaching strategy is most effective for a client with limited literacy skills? A. Providing written handouts and brochures. B. Conducting group education sessions. C. Using visual aids and diagrams. D. Providing verbal instructions and demonstrations. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer, C. Using visual aids and diagrams. Description, for clients with limited literacy skills, using visual aids and diagrams can enhance understanding and retention of information by presenting concepts in a visual format that is easier to comprehend. Question 4. Which principle should guide the nurse's teaching approach when educating an older adult client? A. Using complex medical terminology to promote accuracy. B. Allowing ample time for learning and comprehension. C. Relying solely on written materials for instruction. D. Assuming prior knowledge and understanding. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer, B. Allowing ample time for learning and comprehension. Description, when educating older adult clients, it is important to allow sufficient time for learning and comprehension, considering potential sensory or cognitive changes that may affect the learning process. Question 5. What is the nurse's primary responsibility when providing health education to a client? A. Ensuring the client adheres to the prescribed treatment plan. B. Providing accurate and evidence-based information. C. Assessing the client's understanding of the educational content. D. Documenting the education provided in the client's chart. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer. B. Providing accurate and evidence-based information. Description, the nurse's primary responsibility in client education is to provide accurate and evidence-based information, enabling clients to make informed decisions about their health care. Question 6. What is the best approach for the nurse to promote client engagement and active participation in the learning process? A. Delivering information in a lecture-style format. B. Providing written handouts for independent study. C. Encouraging questions and open discussion. D. Offering incentives for completing educational activities. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer. C. Encouraging questions and open discussion. 
Description, encouraging questions and open discussion creates an interactive learning environment that promotes client engagement and active participation in the learning process. Question 7. Which factor should the nurse consider when tailoring client education for individuals from diverse cultural backgrounds? A. The client's educational level and literacy skills. B. The client's preferred learning style. C. The client's religious beliefs and practices. D. The client's financial resources. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer. C. The client's religious beliefs and practices. Description. When providing client education, it is important to consider the client's cultural background, including their religious beliefs and practices, to ensure the educational content is respectful, culturally appropriate, and aligned with their values. Question 8. What is the nurse's role in client education regarding medication administration? A. Explaining potential adverse effects and drug interactions. B. Deciding the appropriate dosage and frequency of medication. C. Dispensing medications and ensuring compliance. D. Monitoring the client's response to medication. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer. B. To prevent the risk of aspiration pneumonia. Answer. A. Explaining potential adverse effects and drug interactions. Description. The nurse's role in client education regarding medication administration involves explaining potential adverse effects and drug interactions, enabling clients to make informed decisions and take medication safely. Question 9. Which assessment is essential before providing client education? A. Assessing the client's financial resources. B. Assessing the client's cultural background. C. Assessing the client's health literacy level. D. Assessing the client's primary language. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer. C. Assessing the client's health literacy level. Description. Assessing the client's health literacy level is crucial before providing client education to ensure the educational content is appropriately tailored to their understanding and comprehension abilities. Question 10. What is the nurse's responsibility regarding client education documentation? A. Documenting the client's compliance with the educational plan. B. Documenting the client's understanding of the educational content. C. Documenting the time spent on educational activities. D. Documenting the nurse's personal teaching preferences. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer. B. Documenting the client's understanding of the educational content. Description. The nurse should document the client's understanding of the educational content to ensure that the teaching was effective and to provide a reference for future healthcare providers. Thank you for your time. Subscribe for more videos.